Good afternoon. I'm Monisa Klein here at the GBTA Broadcast Studio in beautiful, sunny San Diego. It's great to be here, and uh, with us today we have uh, Mr. Tim Nichols, who is the Managing Director of Air Solutions for TripBAM. Tim, great to see you. It's good to see you too, Monisa. It's a pleasure to be here, and you mentioned sunny San Diego. It never disappoints. Nope. It's probably one of the best places for uh, GBTA to have convention, don't you think? I agree. Couldn't agree more. Great site, and always uh, good to be here and get a, a break from wherever the clouds may be, because they aren't here. <laughs> well, we've had a lot happen since we were together in Orlando last November. We um, have. Travel is back or coming back, hopefully really strong. Hopefully you guys are seeing that. So what are some of the trends that you're seeing as it relates to air? Well, as, as it relates to air and all travel, Moniz, I think you're seeing it. We're all seeing it. Travel has rebounded. Um, we were in Orlando. We went in that big dip with Omicron. And uh, I've often said to our customers and our prospects and anyone who will talk, that we, we can put a date on it, January 17th was the date the rebound began, and it was almost a hockey stick right through May. We've kind of leveled off a little bit at this stage, but uh, you know, depending on the company, I think overall about 60% back, um, some a little bit higher, obviously some a little bit less than that, but uh, just by evidence of the size of convention this year, uh, it is yes. back in earnest, and so yes. we're excited about that. That's great. That's good, good information to have and some good stat, interesting stats that you're sharing. So it seems like every industry is suffering from post-pandemic staffing woes. Oh, right? yes. What's the solution for travel procurement managers on this topic? Well, I think it's uh, uh, important to be nimble. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, um, as it's related to the airlines, the area that I work in at, uh, at TripBAM, uh, and talk to our customers about, um, certainly uh, demand has out exceeded uh, supply. Um, over the course of the last year or so, and really since that date in January where travel started coming back, and it's really impacted you know, travelers. Um, so from the travel manager standpoint, you know, understanding that data, you know, 2019, while we all use that as the, the baseline point for you know, what life was like before the pandemic, is almost not as relevant anymore because it's about where are we going in the future right. um, and what is that future going to look like. So the transparency of data, the ability to act on it and have real good, actionable uh, conversations with suppliers about what that future looks like I think is important. And then you know, being nimble, um, being able to offer alternatives to travelers and just be flexible and communicate internally I think is really important for that travel manager as well because life before the pandemic is not exactly what it's like now. So how about the future? What do you see in your crystal yeah. ball? I mean, the, you know, we, we're, you get over the pandemic and then you rising fuel prices, right? Gasoline prices, yeah, volatility. recession talk. You know, I mean, it's, if it's not one thing or it's another. So what do you see in your crystal yeah, ball for so the future? That volatility is something that we have just had to embrace. Yeah. And you talk about the crystal ball. Um, I, I have a good, a good friend over at Delta Airlines, Scott Jordan, who uh, jokes with me. He's like, I took that crystal ball about uh, maybe June of 2020 and threw it up against the wall and shattered it because the crystal ball, it always changes. Uh, but obviously, as the, the, the headwinds may come or maybe they won't come, uh, it comes back to being nimble and just being flexible. Um, whatever may be, um, travel is going to continue, going to return. Sustainability is the big topic here at convention and has been. I think that's at the forefront of people's minds and it's really an opportunity to reshape um, travel programs for the future. Uh, and so certainly TripBAM is going to be there uh, with the air solution to help uh, customers do that. Um, but um, travel is going to continue and that's the real exciting thing about being here at convention. You see it in the energy that's here. Yes, and so I that agree. crystal ball, regardless of what headwinds and what volatility may be here, um, GBTA remains um, and the industry remains and it, uh, it's good to be here and uh, contribute to a strong travel industry. Tim, always a pleasure to visit with you. Thanks so much for stopping by and spending a few minutes with me and sharing what's going on with TripBAM. Oh, it's my pleasure, Monisa. It's always Thank good you. to be with you as well. Thanks so much. I'm Monisa Klein here at the GBTA Broadcast Studio.